Peace and blessings, fam. It's your girl T. Yes, I upload videos every single week, so please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that bell. Yes, hit that bell so that you do not miss any of my new videos. This is my client who has alopecia. Yes, she's been having alopecia for quite a while now, but we will start her braid pattern, and we will get to some hair growth butter yes this is our g and g hair growth butter if you want your hair to grow get you some hair growth butter yes order today it is packed with all natural 100 percent ingredients our prices are very affordable our small jars are ten dollars our large jars are only twenty dollars so yes you can have longer thicker hair so get your order in now so here we are back with my client i am starting her braid pattern and i am doing a beehive braid pattern because that is going to be the best braid pattern for the style that she came in to get today yes i am using human hair i am using human hair on her hair because it is soft it is much more easier to braid with and it's more gentle on her natural hair so yes when i have clients who have sensitive skin sensitive scalp or hair loss i usually use human hair because it is so much easier and better to work with on their hair as well as their hair being very fragile so here as you can see i'm carefully braiding in a beehive and i'm just going to continue braiding around in a circle and here it is this is her finished braid pattern i am now going to install the first net this is the net that i am using to protect her hair yes her hair is very fragile and my ultimate goal is to promote hair growth not hair loss so i am putting this first net on and it is to protect her hair and it's to alleviate any tension and any weight from the hairstyle that she's going to be getting as you can see i kind of overlapped the net from where her braids are so that way she has extra net where she has hair loss and yes this is the double net as you can see in the title this is a double net style yes it is the most healthiest way for anyone who has hair loss who has thin hair who has damaged hair who has damaged edges etc yes i am using two nets on her hair these nets are very ventilated so it will give her scalp much room to breathe she can her scalp can breathe with no problem even with two nets on and again as you can see here i overlapped the net and i put the net farther down on her forehead where she has the hair loss on her edges where she has the hair loss hair loss why because that's where i'm going to attach these beautiful curly faux locks yes look at these faux locks they are beautiful they are nine inches long they come in four sections and they are called goddess locks curly goddess locks so this is the one b that i'm going to be using and we're going to mix it with a 1b30 so actually that's a t 1b30 so yes let's get started with the fun part let's start crocheting and as you will see i am only sewing on the first net excuse me crocheting on the first net yes just that top net i will not be crocheting through that second net at all i do not want any weight or any tension to be on her natural hair at all or even on the braids the beehive braids that i did 
So again, you will see here, I am only attaching to the net. This crochet needle is only going through the first net and that's it. Again, that's to alleviate any tension on her natural hair. So please continue to watch how this beautiful style is accomplished. I will show you exactly how I install the locks on the net in the front where she has hair loss. This will give her all the fullness that she needs on her edges and in the front so that her hairline doesn't look like it starts way to the back. So again, continue to keep watching. There we go. I am showing you exactly how I'm so how I'm attaching and crocheting these faux locks to the areas where she has hair loss. Some people have asked, well, what would keep the net from moving? Well, the weight from the crochet faux locks holds the net down and in place on the sides where there is no hair. So you don't have to worry about the wind making it move or flap or anything because the weight of the crochets keeps it in place with no problem. Look how beautiful this is coming out. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. So continue to keep watching. Thank you so much for all your support. Please continue to, to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and please hit that bell.